Hello ladies and gentlemen of the internet, it's RJ and today we'll be taking a look at the Bandai Tamashi Nation's SH Figuarts Ultraman Orb Origin. Starting the articulation, it's pretty much just standard fare. The head itself is on a ball peg. It's kind of boxy so you're not going to get very much movement out of it. Obviously it can go side to side but not very well. Ball joint for the neck which is where you're going to get a majority of your movement for the head. Oh, that's a neat little feature that Bandai included. If the color timer feels like it's not being appreciated enough, it will just rocket itself off of Orb's body and then you'll have to find it. Standard shoulder setup, ball joint and then a peg and then a hinge and it likes to get stuck. So you have to do that. Double hinged elbows. They swivel, however when you swivel them Please do take care to swivel them back to where they're supposed to be or the elbows won't bend correctly and you may break the figure. Ball hinge wrists, ball jointed torso, the usual. Some nice things about the legs, they spread out very far unlike Zofi. Something bad about the legs is his juicy ass prevents the figure from going backwards so it limits your posability. Double hinge knees. The standard, not very good figure arts ankles. We do have that. It actually functions on this figure, which is cool. The toe hinge, and for whatever reason, they seem to be phasing out the downward hinge, which was pretty much functionally useless. It's gone, though. Moving on to detail, this figure is pretty much everything I was hoping for. The silver is a nice nice clean application with no weird paint bubbles everything is applied nice and neatly for some reason we have these lines right here but every single copy of the figure seems to have it so I'm gonna guess that's intentional what seems less intentional are his uh... his pectoral lines as we'll call them I understand what they're going for, they're supposed to be the chest lines that the suits have, but these are far more well defined. Also there's a nice big scratch on the chest, let's bring him in a little bit closer. So yes, a very nice gray scratch right here. Also the paint towards the joints is a little bit goopy looking, but that's mostly just supposed to be a cover for the articulation, so I can't really complain too much about that. The black looks very nice, but it attracts fingerprints, especially if you are a greasy ogre like myself. Overall, a very excellent looking figure, a massive step up from the last figure that I got massively excited for, and then crushing disappointment set in. Finally, the head has some nice translucent parts. We have this thing on his forehead, which is the correct color. And then finally, his eyes. Now, depending on the lighting, they can either be white or blue, they're supposed to be blue, take that how you will. Moving on to accessories, he has a pair of flat chopping hands for the Eregium Ray which he uses all of once in the entire show. A pair of splayed out hands so you can do his pose from the opening and there's one of the chopping hands in the background. A more aggressive pair of splayed out hands, a replacement part for the terrible color timer and it's just as terrible only this one's pink. The orb caliber itself with two holding hands. Now, the sword itself is very nicely painted. The holding hands kind of suck. As you can see, they just kind of flop around. There's not really a very tight grip there. However, the weirdest accessory I've seen in recent memory from this line. Watch carefully. So here's the back of the dial. And you do one of these. And you just kind of rip it out. You really ham hand it. Alright, now that that's out, you have this. Why? For what purpose? The fraction of a second it shows up when he first transforms. That's about it. And you plug it in like so. Yeah, that about does it. And here we have Orb alongside Zophie and the Ultra Act Mebius. Pretty standard size for the SH Figuarts line, and once again, still significantly shorter than the Ultra Acts. Overall, it's a breath of fresh air to be getting decent releases of new characters. Orb has very nice paint, very nice articulation, the accessories are serviceable if a little bit weird, 
and it's just a very solid release in general. If you're a fan of the character, which I'm sure a lot of you are, this figure sold very well, then I'd be sure to pick this release up if you haven't already.